Many people have heard the stories of mummification in ancient Egypt, mainly from the stories of the wealthy, such as King Tut. But have you ever heard how they perform these rituals and how they preserve the bodies, not only with royalty, but with the common folk? Historians and scientists have figured out this mystery. As we do meet in modern time, the body was covered in salt, more specifically, natron. The salt was inserted into the body and over the body. This salt was collected from the shores of Egyptian lakes in the desert west of the Nile. After the expired body had dried out from the salt, the participants, which included family and the community, removed the organs and natron packets. The organs will be placed into a canister, which can represent today's urns. This process could also be performed with spices and oil to dry out the body, predominantly used among commoners. Following the drying process, they would stuff the body and wrap it in linen. The wrapping or bandaging process was very involved, taking as long as two weeks. During this process, they would utter spells and lay protective amulets on the body. Soon they would place the body in a cartonage and a mask of the head. These represented the body itself. It was painted. After being placed in this, it was lastly put in a suffet, a coffin once again decorated with paint to look like a person and show their lives through photos. All these things preserved the bodies for us to see today, and the finishing touch was placing it in the ground of its final resting place.